Hello there, Sarah from 17 once again, introducing you to my Max Payne 3 Hardcore Difficulty video walkthrough. This is the second section to its Drive or Shoot sister. Now this is a pretty tough shootout in this area because you're at a height advantage, disadvantage. They're above you, you're coming upstairs, and Max on stairs is really animation heavy, so your aim's going to be bobbing up and down, he's going to have way more animation frames than you want, and you're going to get shot because of it, so just be as careful as you can. I think two or three guys are going to rush from that side where I'm aiming at. You need to be aware of this, because if you're not, they're going to get the jump on you, and you're going to get hurt. Luckily enough, a bit of panic fire from me manages to knock them down so that they can't return fire, and I managed to clean them up pretty effectively using the stairs as cover. But I can hear somebody talking, which means there's more dudes still around, so don't rush too far forward or you'll end up getting clipped lazily. It does happen, and there's one guy always stood in front of this window over here. But unfortunately, on this playthrough, I don't manage to push him through it. He just kind of flops down, I think. Or maybe I did. I can't tell. And look at that! One guy, after killing a full squadron of dudes, just kills me effectively. Because if that was on old school, I would have died. But I've got four bullets and uh, no painkillers, so from now on I'm going to have to, you know, hopefully play a little better. But it's okay if you're in this situation, because I think there's one more guy to kill, except for this kid, so there's two more guys. There's that guy, there's one guy down the stairs, and then everything after this, after a little cutscene shooting you're going to be on a, a rail section. So painkillers do not matter. And as we all know, they do not transfer from level to level, which is bullshit, but it's how they decided to make it. Speaking of that, anybody that's worried about New York Minute on hardcore mode, apparently your painkillers carry over. So if you're good at getting painkillers or, or not using painkillers, you should be fine, as long as you don't, you know, fail an objective really sloppily, which happens a lot, because this game's kind of bullshit like that. You should be okay, but once you've killed him, all that's left to do now is open a door, and once you do this, Max is going to run into the room to shoot the guy who's about to shoot. I think it's Fabiana. Actually, I don't think it is Fabiana, it's, it's the sister. My names are so wrong on this game at this moment in time, I need to clue. Fabiana got owned earlier with the Desert Eagle. But this is the rail section. Uh, there's actually a achievement on this section for killing everybody that you see. And I don't think it's going to be that difficult because I didn't realise that you had to do that so I've never really tried to do that. I've just, you know, shot at dudes and I've done a pretty good job. I'll probably come back on easy and do it. And I mean if you've got a free aim on or if you've got the other aiming modes it's probably even easier to do. But once again, these rail sections are so easy, all they are is fun. They're just entertaining fun. But there's a, a shoot up coming up a shootout coming up, sorry, which is actually difficult and I've completely forgot about it. The reason it's difficult, you can't move. And I don't know who thinks that's a good idea, locking you into a position, but it's everything that's wrong with this game. The you know, the the cover system that's the delay for your aimer coming up is is fatal on hardcore and it makes this section harder than it should be and if you don't have too many painkillers you're probably going to have to rely on dying a few times to get more but it is doable and I'm going to show you how to do it but be warned you die so fast it's ridiculous and it's not very fun either, unfortunately. It's just kind of a ball ache. And you can't wait it out and just wait for it to end. You've got to kill them. So you'll notice the checkpoint has just put me here with five painkillers, which is pretty generous, I think. And a patient strategy, which I couldn't do because I'm not patient at all, is you can sit in cover being shot at because it generates your, your slow motion. It generates bullet time. Once you have enough bullet time, pop up and kill some people. But look at this, there is so many dudes shooting me. Every time I pop up to shoot, I'm getting killed. But like I mentioned, when you go into that death screen like that, if you can kill as many people before you kill the guy who killed you, I know that's a confusing sentence, <laughs> it will benefit you a lot. But it's not always the easiest thing to do, so don't you know force it if you can't, because you'll just end up dying. But look at this bullshit, look how many people are shooting at me. This is not a good idea, but... 
Like, right there I got a bit unlucky because I didn't realise that was the guy that killed me. I thought it was somebody else. <laughs> but there is no easy way of doing this. There's no way to cheese this section. There's no, if you follow this, you'll do it every time because you won't. This is all indicative on how fast you get on target and how fast you get back into cover after killing a dude. And these enemies take so many bullets to die, especially at range, it just gets to the point where you can't control it. There's too many variables. And I'm tempted to slow down the, the coming out of cover animation to see how long it takes for the aimer to, to come on the screen because it might only be five frames or, you know, three milliseconds, but when I'm playing the game, I feel the delay. Because I don't know about your guys, but when you play a game, I'm not going to say time slows down because that sounds far too much like Matrix shit, but something that takes a short amount of time can feel like an eternity when you're playing because you're so focused, you're in the zone, and it can feel a lot more intense than it is. And that delay is so much more palpable when you're playing than it is when you're watching. Just, just take my word on that. But thanks for watching, guys. We're coming towards the end of the guide now. I hope it is helping. This is a pretty challenging game, so hopefully the guide will do well. But as always, you take care now.